Hello everyone, my name is Anchor and welcome back to part 14 of my stereoscopic 3D Let's Play of Alien Isolation, presented in the full side-by-side -side format. So I will confess that I have not played this game in about four days. That's alright, because I'm ready to go. And I just need to get my bearings and remember what I need to do. I need to use the vent over here, I think. The alien is in the area. Get in there, quick. Alright. So it's been a few days since I've played this game. There won't be any interruption in the videos going up on the YouTubes, though. Because of the fact that I am uploading them well in advance of when I'm actually uh, playing them. I believe I'm like a week ahead in terms of the parts I'm recording and the parts that are going live. The part that went live... Shit. The alien is definitely in the area. The part that went live today was part 6. And I'm recording part 14. Whoa. This is the first time that I have seen this many items in a storage device. Storage container on Nightmare Difficulty. Wow. So those must be pre-scripted to give me that many items. Okay. So I don't know... Is the alien going to be threatening me in this area? Probably is. So let's get down to business. There was some stuff I wanted to talk about, but... This is really not the time to do it. The alien right here in the area. So let's just sneak our way over. Just make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay. Oh shit. Sensor? Why does it give me items all of a sudden? This is on Nightmare, isn't it? I don't think you can even change the difficulty mid-campaign. Uh, so this is very strange. No, I have not restarted the game and replayed it on an easier difficulty up to this point. Okay. I think what I'm trying to do here is actually get the stuff that Taylor needs to, um, to heal up. The trauma kit. Okay, that's empty. That's kind of what I was expecting. Oh, man. There's a vent opening right here. Alright, let's reduce the convergence. Ugh, I should have done that sooner. Alright, dispensary is empty. Message for Lingard on her return. I've prepared the patients in the trauma ward for transportation as best I can before Waits locks the place down. I'm going upstairs to the psychiatric ward to make sure th there are no stra stragglers. I read that sentence very poorly, and I am very sorry for that. The dispensary is now empty. Everything San Cristobal has to offer in terms of first aid and medicine is with you, or elsewhere on station. I'm hoping you'll bring back good news. Alright, so Lingard is the one who is in possession of the stuff we need. Whoops. Death certificate. Foster C. November 14th, 2037. Cause of death classified. Okay. No audio logs. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. There's one more thing I need to check. Probably nothing there. Utility. Oh. Report Lingard. Report statement recorded on the 13th of November, 2137. What is this? Oh. This is Lingard, senior medical officer at Sevastopol Station. I want to. I want to state. I have been, I have been placed under duress with regards to the patient zero and ransom. Seekson's head of operations. He. He made certain threats for my career and my certification. I want that on record. God, help me. That woman needed help. 
I didn't know what type of parasite she had encountered, but it had planted something inside uh -oh. her. I am so sorry. I had no way of knowing what would happen. Okay. Last night... I took a break from the gaming stuff to watch a feature film presentation. Okay, I hear it walking. Oh, come on. It's here now. And that feature film presentation <laughs> was a 1979 film called Alien. And so now I have seen the beginnings of this saga. I know what's going on now. I know who those people that were being mentioned at the very beginning of this game were. Parker, Ash, Kane, Brett, Dallas, and the woman whose name I can't remember. Oh shit. I remember... Oh god. Fuck. Oh fuck. I remember the other names, so... <laughs> Sorry. But this is... This is not the right time to be talking about this. This alien is just pacing back and forth. God, it's so bright in here as well. Let me make sure I don't have my gamma to absurd levels. Oops. Probably in video. Yeah, let's turn that down a bit. That's better. Still pretty bright, though. Alright, so... I need... I need to get out of here. I think I just heard it go into vents. No, it's walking. Okay. I need... Oh. I need to get out of here. I just heard a save point. Just try and sneak on by. <laughs> okay, it's aggravated. I don't want to hide in here, but I don't have a choice because I didn't see anything else in this room. I try to hide in the lockers as infrequently as possible. I feel it will just leave. Okay, I hear it leaving. I don't know where. Okay, that door. Oh. There's not going to be shit in there. Okay. Oh. This is a one-way... Oh, why are the lights turning on? Hygiene area, let's go. There's nowhere to hide in here. It's coming in, isn't it? Just don't come around here. Chris of Stereo 3D Productions referred to this stuff as dancing with the with the alien. And it it definitely is. Oh shit. 
Coming back in. I think. Oh. So I've got no map. Never been in this area. No, no idea where I need to go. It's a matter of evading the alien plus trying to figure out where I need to go. Those two things put together are no small challenge. Yeah. This is a dead end here. I don't like this. Uh oh. Oh, it sounds like it's in the vents now. Just don't fall down on top of me and we'll be good. God. Jesus. Okay, I hear the save point in this direction. Not this direction. This one. There it is. Okay. I want to tell my alien story, but I can't do it right now. I'm sure you can understand. Alright. I think we're good to save. Still don't really understand this area I'm in. In terms of, uh... The layout. Hopefully I'll be able to find a rewire somewhere and... That will help me out. Molotov... Version 1? Right? Oops. Okay. Colonial Marshal Directive. Dr. Morley, I don't care what you think you need to do. I want you out of San Cristobal now. You know what we've set up in there, and I'm truly sorry for what it means for the patients who can't be moved, but this is the only way. There will be no further warnings. Signed, Marshal Waits. Whoops. Morley, update and codes. Morley, I need you out of medical. We've set up shop in the Habitation Tower. People are fighting over supplies. I've been to the Habitation Tower. That's where I died from the alienating. We've got more injuries coming in than we have the meds to deal with, and my team is depleted to say the least. I don't know how you'll break the lockdown, but if you need to access San Cristobal's medical wards, the code is 2505. Lingard, okay. San Cristobal, lockdown. San Crisabel Medical has been locked down by the Colonial Marshals under fur until further notice. Sevastopol's medical team are setting up field hospitals throughout Sevastopol to deal with the ongoing crisis. So, locations to follow. Got some audio here. Dr. Lingard, this is Ransom. Remember me? Your friendly Sikhs and Chief Executive. Lingard, you don't drop by, you don't call. Aren't we pals anymore? Oh, well, we're both busy people. And after all, I have lots of other friends. Some of them have badges. One of them told me you called Marshal Waits about a, shall we say, interesting find? I want in. No arguments. After all, how much does Waits really know about you? Not as much as your old friend here. And I bet you wouldn't be as understanding about black market med supplies. I look forward to your call, Doc. Samuels, I'm on my way. Okay. Just save again after doing that. Alright, so that message that we saw, the 2D cutscene, with the doctor talking about a parasite. I would not have known what that was unless I had watched Alien last night. And I know from Kane going down to that strange planet that they found... Shit, there's an entrance in here. The strange planet planet that they found on the um god what was the name of the ship the Nostromo Kane got a parasite attached to his face Whoa! okay the alien just dropped down on the other side Where'd it go? Oh. It came up. Ah, I thought so. 
It came up the vent. All right. So I need I need to make sure that it doesn't see me, if that's even possible here. Okay. It's just too difficult to talk about Alien, the movie, right now. Fuck! So I need to find this trauma kit. Got a key card. Anything else around here? Whoops. Nope. Open up. Open up. Alright. So we're gonna have to find another time. We're gonna have to find another time to talk about Alien. Because right now I am Amanda Ripley and she's got a situation to deal with. We can talk about Ellen Ripley's experiences later. Alright. There's a room here. Anything of use? Good place to hide from the alien. That's about it. Whoa. Oh shit! Oh, you fool, you should not have fired your weapon. Let's just get under here. Okay, good. You go that way. I'm going this way. Just don't... Oh. No. No! All right. I'm going to fast forward till I'm back at the spot I was. Fuck! All right. So we've got these two fellows here. Actually, is that three? That's three. Okay. So they can be used as a distraction against the alien, I guess. Can I hide in this thing? Oh, oh no. Get underneath. Get underneath. Get underneath. Get underneath. Oh. Okay. Uh oh. He's gonna have a bad day. Oh man. This is so fucked. If he comes back this way, I'm totally exposed. I just went into the vents. Okay. That's... not really signifying any form of safety, but... doesn't mean I can get through here. Oh! Get under, get under, get under. I was killing someone else now. Just go up again. These guys aren't providing much of a distraction. Get underneath. Get underneath. There's a terminal. 
I can lock down this door. I hear it. All right, here it comes. Ah, oh, shit. Don't look underneath here, man. Go through there. No, don't come back. Go through there. Oh, I just saw someone run. Wait, where'd it go? Lost sight of it. I'm gonna lock down this door. What is the door open? Okay. I'm going to try reading this. Though obviously we know that the alien will come in here. Hear it in the vents now. Okay, let's try this. Ah, convergence, sorry. Personal Human Torch. This is by way of a formal complaint to Station Medical. I do not want to be attended by an android. Any android! I am a senior Seekson executive with a significant financial investment in Sevastopol. I should be treated appropriately. By which I mean by humans only. Duty roster. Yeah, blah blah blah. Medical records. Paul B. Dr. Lingard attending. Severe chemical burns to arms and legs. Right eye. <coughs> Dr. Kuhlman attending. Suspected brain damage caused by asphyxiation through manual strangulation. Nothing to do. Wasted bed. Wow. Okay. The incident. Versus check the utility. Error. Okay. Morley, it's Lingard. After the incident, the marshals want us to rope off medical. They're bringing in a team to find whatever it was the patient was carrying. I told them it was fast, but they're convinced they can trap it. They've got nets. I'll set up a temporary medical center outside. You're in charge for now. Don't let Coleman Sweet talk his way in. The last thing we need is him self-medicating with Marshall Waits around. <laughs> so, them having nets trying to catch whatever escaped from the patient? That directly mirrors them trying to capture what escaped from Kane in the film. They went around with these crappy motion detectors. Not, not any type of design like this motion detector. It was just something they basically aimed and then it beeped. There was no display. <laughs> and it was a really bulky, ugly contraption. Uh, but yeah, they had a net and they accidentally found the cat rather than finding the alien creature. These guys, yeah. Oh, there's a woman. Got chewed up. I gotta pause for a second. Alright, sorry about that. But I had to pause because I do not uh, cannot see when the sun is coming in through the window and putting a glare on my screen. Forgot to close it. Alright, there's nothing here. The alien is, of course, in the area, but I believe it's still in the vents. And there's a vent opening right there. I think that this here just comes around to where... It just comes around in a circle to where I just was. Wait. That is the room I was just, just in. Never mind. Okay, where's our hiding spot? There's a, There are two lockers.
there. Override on this door? Nope. Ooh, could this be where it burst out? Yep. Chest wound. <laughs> oh, man. At least here, it happened in the medical bay. It happened while they were eating on, uh, with Nostromo. I've got the meds. Okay. We're at the transit station outside medical reception. Ripley, we heard gunshots. And if we heard them, so did the creature. I just heard it come down from a vent. Maybe not. Sounds like it's still in the vents. I want to read this. Take the risk of reading it. Personal autopsy report. Name. Catherine Foster. Coroner's case. Number. And then it gives a date. Date of birth is January 20th, 2098. Age. 39. Sex female. Thank you for writing sex instead of gender. That is the correct terminology for what you are identifying on that field. Origin. Crew member of the Anisadora. I've heard that name before. Body identified by Marlo H. Anisadoro Captain. Case number, blah, blah, blah. Investigative agency, Sevastopol Colonial Marshal Authority. Evidence of treatment, classified. External examination, classified. Internal examination, classified. Laboratory data, classified. Evidence collected, classified. Opinion, classified. Shared error, some audio. Turner, we've had something go down here in San Cristobal. Tape off the scene and make sure it's not touched until Garcia comes in with forensics. Keep this quiet for now. I want total silence. Last thing this station needs is a panic. And one other thing. If I find out who leaked this to Ransom, I'll make them eat their fucking badge. He turned up, quoted seeks and privileges, and had a ringside seat for the whole goddamn mess. This is a serious incident. I don't need Ransom making it more complicated. Do you read me? Wait's up. Oh, hello there, Xenomorph. Fancy meeting you here. I saw something on this. Did it see me? I don't know how it saw me. Oh, you know the drill. Got quite a bit to replay, so I'm gonna do that. Actually... I should probably just end the part here. Sensor, or actually... Let's see... Might as well make something. Flashbangs... I don't know if the flashbangs would affect the alien? Pipe bombs. Don't even have enough stuff to make that. Molotovs. Does this use ethanol? Yes, it does. Short on compound B, though. Let's use a blasting cap. My only blasting cap. I don't think there's anything else I can make, even if I wanted to. Nope. Alright, so I'm gonna end this part here. Didn't really get very far because of the fact that I died and had to lose a lot of progress. But, uh, yeah. We'll continue discussing Alien 1979 in future parts. Because it's very much relevant to what I'm doing. For now, I'm gonna end it here. Goodbye.